For months, we've heard from members of Louisville's disabled community airing their frustrations with TARC services. Members of the Louisville Metro Disabilities Coalition say they've been disrespected and ignored, while TARC says it's just a staffing issue. L. Smith was at Jefferson Square where the protest was held, demanding change. Frustrated, angry, and downright exhausted are just a few of the words that you could use to describe the group that gathered today. Some of the men and women I spoke to are 100% dependent on TARC services, and they spoke today about why the disabled community in Louisville feels neglected. I do not accept being looked over. I do not accept being taken advantage of. Today, person after person told stories of being stranded, mistreated, or just outright ignored by TARC-3, a paratransit service for the disabled community. Long wait times are just one part of the issue. Yesterday, I got one to get picked up. I waited over three hours. Some have waited longer. Four or five hours. Both TARC and the Metro Disabilities Coalition agree that there is a shortage of drivers, but MDC is asking TARC to end its contract with MV Transportation, saying it needs to be done in-house. We reached out to TARC for comment to hear what their plan is to address these concerns. They didn't respond. But in a statement last night, they said, protests are important and can raise awareness. TARC acknowledges that areas of our service are in need of improvement. Unfortunately, we are short on operators and our customers are feeling that shortage firsthand due to its impact on service. Accessibility is another issue. Cedric Jones Sr. does not have a vehicle that can transport his scooter and himself. So that means if TARC doesn't come get him, he can't go anywhere. I either cancel the appointment or reschedule it or something. Or if you're out and you get stranded, you just fess for yourself until you do, they do send somebody. He is 100% dependent on TARC services, even if that means being stranded for 14 hours like he was last month. He knows to come prepared. I've got a notebook, I got paperwork, I got uh, two pads in here, plus my phone. So I can communicate, do some paperwork, or whatever I need to do, because the experience tells me if I don't know whether I'm going to be gone two hours, three hours, 12 or 14 hours. The men and women I spoke with today agree that a driver shortage is a part of the problem, but they said it's just one small part out of a plethora of issues. For the night team, I'm Elle Smith.